Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'm going to be discussing a question or a, a part of a discussion that was posted on Discord. So let's begin. Now, some little idiot came along here and pretended he can verify or uh, let's say uh, provide evidence that piecewise functions are one rule. So he created something called a shift function. It's, it's actually garbage, but you'll see why in a moment. So um, little fool thinks that he can place a condition on, on a function. So he places, he, he decides that he's going to have this h underscore tx function, uh, where t is the shift. <laughs> so in other words, it's not really a shift, it's more like a switch. So let, let me explain to you what happens here. So initially I posted a comment about uh, smooth functions. You cannot use calculus on a function unless it is smooth over an interval. So if you're looking at this part here, this part here, okay, that I've just, that I just drew, let's draw it again like that, then you cannot, with one rule, evaluate the area under this part, okay? You cannot do that, right? Why? Because the fundamental theorem of calculus applies to one area. And as you can see, when you try to integrate f from minus 2 to 2, it doesn't know, okay? Because it's not defined from minus 2 to 2, it's defined from minus 2 to one, right? So if you put one there, you get a value, okay? So that's the value. And the same story happens here. It can't define, you can't use this side for y is equal to x or g of x is equal to x because it's not defined at one, okay? So, I mean, you know, the guy is obviously an idiot. So let's get rid of that. I don't want to save it. Now, uh, let's come back to this bullshit that he wrote here. So if we look at this very carefully, we'll see that what he tried to do is he tried to have two functions like this, and he tried to make them pivot around a single point that you see here. For example, let's say point 0.1, okay? It doesn't matter what it is. It can be any, t can be any value. So then he uh, designs or compiles a special, he thinks it's a special function, fn, but fn has conditions on it, okay? So um, t of x is defined as t0 is equal to 1 and t1 is equal to 0. There are no other values of x that go in there. So when he writes this here, there's a restriction on this x and on this x, but the moron thinks that this is one rule. No, it's not one rule. <laughs> it's actually... A bunch of garbage basically because x cannot be anything but zero or one for, for tx okay and so i mean what would you state here you'd have to state the value of both this x and this x and this x okay so two values you'd have to state the first one would be his shift thing whatever it is zero one and the second one would be um, the value of x okay so it's it's like a multi-variable function, <laughs> but it's not even multivariable actually, sorry, that's wrong. It's just garbage because this here, T0 and T1 is a condition, not one rule. So look, mainstream mathematics professors are idiots and I've written a fantastic article here on academia.edu, which I encourage you to read. It's called the futility of calculus assessment. And I make an example of one of the Greek teachers somebody called Dimitris Moskopoulos, okay? And the guy, even after I corrected him, he still thinks he's right. And guess who popped up? My famous stalker, Marcus Cliver. And by the way, now that I think of it, this here is a Marcus Cliverism. It's like a botch thing that Marcus Cliver, remember when Marcus Cliver tried to say that uh, F prime of X plus Q of X H has many different values, and then he sort of did a stupid little thing whereby he said, 
2x uh, plus k plus h minus k minus h or some, some drivel like that. And then he said that's different to 2x plus h. Okay. Actually, it's something like that. It's different, but it's not different. It's the same thing. So this is a, just another Marcus Cliverism. And of course, this guy was talking to me not two years ago, but even before that, and also his fellow uh, academic called Zealous Malum. Now, Marcus Cliver, by the way, is not really a Swede. He's a mixture of uh, a German and Italian. And I don't know if he has any Swede blood in him. But anyway, so this article here explains why uh, mainstream mathematicians make your life so miserable. And I take an example that this guy tried to uh, do in his video over here, and I'll show you all the places that he is wrong. Okay, And of course, poor students <laughs> that he taught have to be able to make um, sense out of the, the garbage that he, that he taught them. So if you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber to my channel, the New Calculus channel. Uh, follow me on Academia. This is the Academia link. By the way, in order to read this article, you need to create an Academia account and you need to be logged in before you can read it or download it. So till next time, I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Good.